This is a quick guide to help you determine your Alzheimer's risk with your APOE alleles. We often get questions on how to determine the risk of Alzheimer's disease. The APOE gene has been extremely well researched for Alzheimer's. However, you should keep in mind that your genes are only one part of this equation. Alzheimer's is influenced by both your genes and environmental factors. So knowing your genetic risk should encourage you to understand the importance of doing what you can do to prevent Alzheimer's disease. So as a note before we get started, do not use your ancestry DNA for this data. There is a known error in the APOE data for certain years. So now, what is your risk? The APOE has three common forms. The E2 is the least common and, will, and is actually associated with a decreased risk of Alzheimer's. The E4 is a little more common, but it will increase your risk of getting the disease. And the E3 is the most common, but it does not increase or decrease the risk of Alzheimer's. So what you need to do is you're going to need to look up two RSIDs to find your APOE type. So it's RS429358 and RS7412. And once you have those, you can compare them to this chart. So for example, if for the RS429358, you find you have a TT, you'll see we have three TTs listed, but you need to compare that what your, with your results for 7412. And let's say you have a CC. So you'll find where the TT and the CC are joined, and that's your APOE type. You are E3, E3, and that is normal risk. If you were at the highest risk, what you're going to find is you're going to have a CC for both RSAD numbers, and you will be the E4, E4 APOE type. You can be anywhere on this spectrum from low to high risk, but remember your genetic risk isn't the only factor. Some people who have the highest risk factor never get the disease. But if you've discovered you're at risk, please be sure to look over our Alzheimer's and longevity articles. If I scroll down here, you'll see we have life hack sections and they offer many lifestyle changes that you can implement to change your environmental factors.